So I'm going to be installing my fuck lights. Uh, I've never done anything like this before, but I'm going to give it a try. Plus, I already got fog lights mocked up, so I can always do it tomorrow if uh, if it doesn't work. So I have the time, plus I don't drive anywhere, so it should be okay. I might add a little bit more, because I think two looks okay, but maybe a third one would be better. Maybe. And also, I'm going to be doing a different style of, of filming. So I'm going to be using the GoPro. I finally got it charged and got the SIM card to work. So I'm going to be using this to be filming most of the time. So I won't be talking as much because I don't know if it's windy out. So I'm going to be using it this. So basically, if I'm able to hear for this, then I'll put it in. But if not, then you may be seeing uh, time lapses. Anyway, I'm gonna get started because I'm starting pretty late during the day already. <laughs> I didn't have to take off the grill because there's a small opening here where I can actually just feed the wire through. Well, that's at least on the, I guess on the driver's side. Yeah, this is the driver's side. While the passenger side is covered. So the feed the wires through here, but that's not how I actually did it. I actually just took off the grill, which is all these tabs that you push in, push in, and push forward. It's easier to do it by head than your fingers, so I definitely recommend to do that. So I'll demonstrate how to do this. Up 
the same one on this side. So I'm going to need to do a little bit of work on this because I don't know what happened but there's a hole in this now. This used to be my uh, footwell lights and now this like a very small hole. The, the little heat protectant actually shrunk or something but I'm just going to grab heat shrink cover this up and it should be the same. The only difficult part is how I'm going to put it on the grill because I need this little thing. I'll figure it out. did all this wiring basically putting all of these three together into one and it will connect to that bob light over there but i'm gonna take a break from this because i still have one more side to go so what i'm gonna be doing is trying to put that in there um i did find the hole uh i was playing a little bit later uh, after i basically feed all the wires through so I don't think I actually explained so this is the switch all these wires at least the two which is gonna be a ground and where's the power I think this is the power for the inside this I will be tapping into a fuse, which is I will be showing. And then here is the relay. Here's the fuse just in case it blows. These two will be inside the engine bay. And obviously it's gonna be a ground and a power for the battery. And this can be mounted to the battery, but I think I might just mount it to the chassis or the chassis, whatever you wanna call it, either way. And I also have these little connectors things. Uh, I bought it from, what was it? I think I bought it from Walmart for like 10 bucks. There was like a big pack of it. But um, I probably would've just went to Advanced Auto Parts because they have more of these. Because um, when I bought the, 10, the $10 one at Walmart, uh, they didn't come with many of these. So I, I ran out of luck because I plan on using these ones rather than these, but it is what it is as of right now so what i'm going to be doing is getting these wires feed it through the hole down there and it's kind of difficult because if you have the manual transmission version of the acura tl the, the clutch is going to be in the way let me just get some room so there's it's very hard to see, but it's like right there. Let me see if I can get some light in here so I can show you. All right, you see the wires right there, right? Focus. 
All right, so you see that, that little hole right there? That's the firewall. People said it's like, it's behind here, but I don't want to drill anything. This is the only way to do it. It's because I don't have a clutch. This is an automatic. But if it is a manual, you will have to finagle it in through this hole, past the clutch, or you drill a hole through somewhere around here. Kind of sucks, but I wish I had a manual because I'd rather learn how to do things the hard way or easy way, depending on how it is. But it is what it is for now. So I'm gonna start feeding through these wires. I can't be wearing a GoPro under here because there's not enough room under here. So I'm just gonna be feeding all the wires through there and it should enter out through the engine bay. All right, so there's gonna be one little plastic, it's like a plastic screw. So let me get flat and get this out. And then this thing should fall out. All you have to do is just pull it from all in the back. And should be, see. As soon as you get, as soon as you get the panel under here out, you should be able to pull this out from like here or something. That's what I've seen online. I think so. Because I always feel like I'm gonna break something. Ooh, that didn't sound good. <sighs> right, um, gotta be very careful. I did break one tap over here. You can see it. Sucks, but it is what it is for now. So, should be able to take these out just by. Push on these. Let's disconnect this and this one. And let's disconnect this as well. It's just gonna get my way. I mean, while this is out, I might as well test with the actual button. I guess I gotta take this out. I just have to remember which one goes where. Okay. Almost looks OEM. Right, let's plug this back in. Oh. Okay, so can you see it? It's right there where I put my fingers. That's where we're gonna feed it. So this is the base of the hole. It looked like this. So I just pull this little flap out. And as I touch my fingers through there, it's obviously blocked off, so I would have to cut this grommet inside. Um, I really don't have much to cut it with. Ow. So I'm just going to use my box cutter and try to cut this. Let me put the camera down for a sec. Alright, I got it. And as you can see from the other side, there is... Like, 
gonna stretch this out a little bit. And that looks totally wrong, but I, I gotta do what I gotta do. Oh, shit. It's a tight one. Oh, shit. When you fell through enough water, it's right there. Oh, wait. Uh oh, it's coming. We're getting now stuck. So, as I was saying, these two will be inside. So, this is the ground, and this is going to be tapped into the fuse box which is going to be the power this should be on with the ACC fuse all the time and I will show you that in a little bit after I fed all these waters through because I think the relay or the actual yeah mm, yeah it's stuck it's stuck the actual relay will get through so I might have to cut it a little bit bigger I would just have this on power, this thing right here, so that means the relay will stay somewhere right here. I might just bolt it up. Yeah, I might bolt it. I might just leave it like somewhere right here. Oh, there's a little hole here. I'm definitely going to do that. I don't like how it looks, so I need to hurry. Bring this back. Looks like a small wire here as well. Let's go back and see. So I'm gonna zip tie that together. This thing will probably look like this. Oh, it's not that bad. As long as there's nothing in the way. Looks good. GoPro died. It's, it's not good. I'm gonna zip tie these two together. This relay to this hole. And, and I don't have to worry about this anymore. And I can just finish up the wiring for my fog lights. So far, didn't look like I make much progress, but I already zip tied this down. Uh, just a general mock up of where I'm gonna put it. And I need to bring these wires under the headlight because I'm trying to go for that cleaner look because I don't want wires to be dangling around here. This under Grab this one. It looked like it should reach, so I should finish up the wiring for that and then mock it up. Yeah, I think I'm gonna put this back together and then I'll show you how I'm gonna put the power in the ground for 
the actual switch. So I know you're not supposed to do it this way, like this and this, but I'm gonna heat shrink it. Obviously, that's not what you're supposed to do. You just cut this off, attach these two together, and bibbity bobbity boo, it works. But I'm just gonna heat, heat shrink these two together. And this is called a piggyback fuse that you can get literally at Advanced Auto Parts, O'Reilly's, whatever. We don't have an O'Reilly's in Virginia. Well, at least not one close to me. So it's okay. So I'm going to tap into a fuse. This is the only ACC that I have. It says that when you use a piggyback fuse, you should always use the one that's like, has a equal amount of voltage or less i'm gonna do equal amount because well i i tested it before should be okay all you have to do plug this into the fuse have this one it's exactly the same touch these should work and i'll find my ground somewhere around i do remember where i put my previous ground before so let me see oh what I can do about that, but I'm gonna do this first. So this is what it's gonna look like. Plug it in. And the ground. So remove removing this panel is super easy. Just have to pull off some, this rubber molding. Just enough for you to have some clearance. And then you can just pull outward. This can stay to the side bit, and I can put my ground anywhere in here actually, and then it should be golden. So as you can see, that's where I put it, and this obviously was a different bowl because when I did my footwell lights, I lost a screw or bolt, so I had to replace it with that, but. Found it. So I'm just gonna keep this as a spare. Plus it's the easier to remove, so I'm just gonna leave it as that. So I'm just gonna put all the wires in, even the fuse as of right now. That way the wires can be tucked behind the actual panel and don't have to see her again. Then I have to hide this. Almost done. wire I'm just hoping it will work same with this side I think I did a better job on this side than this one this one I'm kind of rushing because I got kind of tired but now it's time to actually put it on and see if it works Wired up. I don't know why, but this is kind of scary to do. I forgot. I gotta put those on, and then we can test it. All right. Let's see if it blows up.
Something's wrong. The light is on. Something's definitely wrong. Day two. All right, so it's the very next day. And I decided to just keep it as two instead of the third one. Because to me, it looked kind of weird. And I fixed my wiring problem. So the issue that I was having when I was doing the wiring was um, some of it actually came off. So the pop, literally, either the positive or the negative literally just came undone. That's why you should solder rather than doing what I'm doing. I do not know where my dad kept all the, the soldering stuff, so this is the only method I could do. I, but I do recommend soldering it. it. Makes the job so much easier. So I'm going to put everything back together and everything should be good. And I already tested it and it works. And don't mind this. Pre so the previous owner uh, cracked his bumper and I tried to reinforce it that way it doesn't the crack doesn't spread so don't mind that maybe in the future I will get a new bumper but that's like a big if because I'd rather buy a new car all right so before I put everything back together I'll show you that it works so you can see everything's plugged in So yes, I did take everything apart because I didn't know if anything, uh, like any of my wires was messed up. So I realized this is on, this is off. So I'll leave this on. Nice. Now let's put everything back together. I almost forgot to mention that the ground was also bad, so I just mounted it to the battery. Can't believe I forgot about that. The reason why this was not a good mounting point because I noticed there's plastic right here, and if if I remember right, this should be uh I think it's like connected to the headlight. I think I don't remember ever taking it off, but it probably is connected to headlight, so that's the reason why it's a background. Don't put it there, maybe here. But this was closer, so I'm not going to go over here. I'd rather stay over here. Plus, easier access. I also need to put this back together, and this would definitely conclude this video. So let me just put all this stuff back together, and then. I guess, cinematics.